to another Detaining Geek video. Hi, Dave here from Detaining Geek. I'm about to show you this, which is a calibrated sound meter or a dB meter, digital sound level meter. It does all sorts of things, flipping amazing, really good piece of kit. I've borrowed it from my son, whose job is a sound engineer. So why have I got this? Is you'll see in this short video, we've done a sound test on a turbo trainer. Now, what we've been guilty of in the past when we've done sound tests is we've used, just like most other people do that do reviews on turbo trainers and do sound tests, they use an app on an iPhone. But how accurate is it? You know, for example, if you use your iPhone for testing any other thing, it may or may not be accurate. So that's just an app testing for volume levels. So what we've done is used, I say, this calibrated thing. Don't get me on calibration because that's when we go down a whole uh, rabbit hole, parameters, calibrated, all the all accurate, all that sort of stuff. What we do know is if we use the same calibrated meter on all our tests, um, then we should be fine. So this is certificated accurate dB level meter. So you'll see in the test, we've got the jet black vault, which is under test here at the moment, um, together with the um, Wahoo Fitness Kicker Core, trying to remember the name. What I would say about the Kicker Core and the Vault, they look very similar, and they sound very similar, and they make similar sound levels. And I'll do the test on the core in a few days. But So we used the Jet Black. It was already set up. comes with a cassette, flipping great, for roughly somewhere between 450 and 600 quid in the UK, depending where you go, with a cassette on, good value, 2% power meter accurate. But for a lot of people, it's important to know what sound is made by the turbo trainer and what uh, level of volume. If you've got people nearby, you don't want to disturb them. What I'll say about that as well is bearing in mind, we tested this with the meter right by the turbo trainer in a garage with a door open with concrete floor and breeze block walls. What I'm getting at is sound is perceived in different ways depending on the context of where you are. For example, if you've got a hollow floor and hollow walls, uh, and lots of neighbours around you, sound is going to vibrate through in a different way, and some people hear sounds differently. It's all about perception. Your red and my red are two different things and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, on to the test, see what you think. So here we are, dB meter side by side, and the iPhone with the app using the iPhone 12, and here we have the Jet Black Vault of spinning around. You will get some spikes now again, you'll see on this, and this is when we were talking, which wasn't helpful. Um, but you'll see the smoothed out. So there you go, 72 versus 79. You've got a 7 dB difference, the iPhone reading high. We then take it up to 750 watts, and we get 73 dB versus 78. You see, the vault really is really smooth. It's almost got one level of sound. So what have we learned from that test? We've learned that the iPhone is reading on that app about 10 dBs higher than the real calibrated, calibrated, um, level. Uh, also, just an anecdotal one is I use these aftershot open comms for all sorts of things. So for talking on the phone at work and for working out, I even go for a run with this funny antenna sticking in the air, which is the noise constantly mic. But anyway, um, when I'm listening to Spotify, Swift, FTP, Smasher playlist, when you're listening to that, um, obviously my ears are open. Uh, I haven't got anything plugged into them. Life is quieter using the vault. It's a very quiet turbo trainer. So I can have a lower volume on my uh, headphones, which all around is pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed that. So going forward, we'll test as much as we can for everything, uh, even intend to test the Elite Riser the, as it goes up and down. Don't think it makes a lot of noise, but I, it's, anyway, I'm rabbiting on. Get one of these if you want to do accurate tests, but or just watch our reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye now. To another entertaining Git video. Hi, Dave here from Staining Geek. Here I am on my turbo trainer 